Hi there, welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today is going to be declutter number three, and it's going to be cheek products. So blush, bronzer, and highlighter, both creams and powders. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. If you're into eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice, and getting the use of your makeup the way that I am, then definitely stay tuned because I am here to do a decluttering series. It was time to do some, spr some spring cleaning in both my wardrobe and my makeup collection, and today we are doing the makeup collection declutter. Um, it's six parts. I'm gonna be reusing this part of the video for every single video. So if you're like, hmm, I've heard that before, that might be true, because I always need to get a couple of things out of the way before we get into a declutter. Yes, this is a declutter. That doesn't mean you have to declutter. If that makes you like feel bad or whatever, please don't. Uh, I'm just here to clear out my personal makeup collection, that, which is something that has grown over time. I didn't buy this in one go. I've been creating makeup beauty related content for more than a decade, which is where some of these things, you know, have somehow, like I've somehow acquired them along the way. Um, not all of it is PR. I buy most of it with my own money. Um, but yeah, the past couple of years have definitely put things into perspective. So I already knew going into it that I wanted to get rid of quite a bit. And even some OG favorites that I hold very near and dear to my heart, where I just felt like, it's time. It's time. It's also good to know that I have fair skin with a cool to neutral undertone, which means that it greatly skews my makeup preferences. So if I'm getting rid of a product you, that you love, that works great for you, then please keep using it. It just may be something that didn't work for me, or maybe I've just had it for a while. There are so many different reasons why I might be getting rid of something, and it doesn't mean that you have to as well. Um, so yeah, that's everything I wanted to mention before we got started. Let me uh, get stuck into these declutters. Welcome to declutter number three. This is the blush, bronzer, and highlighter declutter. We've got creams, we've got powders, and we're just going to lay it all out and we're going to decide what's going to stay and what's going to go. And if you've seen any of the videos I did where I swatched all of these products out, I think it's not going to be a surprise to many people that I intend to get rid of quite a bit. So I don't really have numbers in my brain. Like I don't really have a number of like, oh, this is how much blush I want to get rid of. But there are definitely categories there where I need to cull things. It's just, it's just time. It's just time. So let me clear some space and then we can get started. So here's the little face palette collection that I have. I don't have too many um, because I don't use these a whole lot. The Dior I would like to keep because I do really like this one. And I'm also going to be keeping the sleek one. This is one I tend to travel with a lot. And that means I'm finally going to be saying goodbye to the e.l.f. This is a face palette I put together myself. I had three of these little palettes and I just popped out the shades that I like best and put it into one. Um, it's too similar to the sleek, which is why I'm not using it all that much. And I have my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Film Star Bronze and Glow, which I'm going to keep. And Catrice came out with a dupe. <laughs> I'm going to be filming a short where I compare the two to see how similar they are. Um, so yeah, I will be filming a short with these to figure out how similar they actually are. Um, and by the time this video goes up, that may already be live. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, that's something that I do want to go over. So for now, these are both staying. And I do think, yeah, this Catrice one does have a very strong scent, if you don't like that. And I do have to say that I prefer the loose bronzers that Catrice does in this line a lot better than this one. And if I already have the Charlotte Tilbury and that, that's something I like, it would go keep declutter in the end. Um, but I still need to do something with this for content. So that's something I shouldn't forget about. So I shouldn't just get rid of it. Um, then I have the Wayne Goss Blush Veil. No, Weightless Veil Blush Palette uh, in Vivid Azalea. And I love this one. I have this Sydney Grace Palette filled with highlighters, but I already know that I'm going to be just keeping this one. And I actually think I can repurpose a packaging thing that I have, and then I can empty out this palette and start using it for eyeshadow. So I'm going to keep the peachy one, and this I'm going to declutter. 
I mean, they're they're very, very pretty um, highlighters, this one as well. Like, they're from Sydney Grace. This is in Heaven, and the other one is in uh, Pumpkin Spice Latte Extra Whip. They're very pretty. They came in mystery bags, though, so I didn't pick those shades myself. But then I have a nice empty palette. And then Natasha Denona Love Glow and Bronze Cheek. I am intending on keeping these around for now. Um, because these are good little palettes for traveling, and I actually just booked some vacations, so this may just be nice because I, I can apply these with fingers, like I, I don't even need brushes, so it's like a one night overnight stay kind of thing. I love things like this, so I'm going to keep those. And then the Solomona um, highlighter palette from Odin's Eye, this was sent to me as a gift. Um, by one of my subscribers and I thought nothing had cracked in her package but then I opened this one up it was still sealed and it had the plastic wrap uh, around it so it didn't break all over the packaging which is why I thought it was fine but as you can see this one has completely cracked um, and to be quite fair I'm just not really into any of these shades I have shades like this in my highlighter collection a million times over. So it was nice of her to send it to me. I will definitely, I would like to try it at some point, but it's just not a kind of product that I really go for. Um, and it's broken. So, and I don't, I know I can repress things, but sweetheart, I've got so much, so much makeup. I don't need to repress things. Um, so for now, we're just keeping it nice and simple. simple. I'm getting rid of four things and I'm going to be keeping one, two, three, four, five, six, and this is going to be a single. So seven things I'm keeping and four things I'm getting rid of. So these are all of my cream and powder bronzers and we need to get rid of some things. My milk makeup has expired so I bought a new mini. Um, so this is their bronzer stick in the shade Baked. And here again there's going to be a dupe video, potential dupe video, because I want to compare the new Baby Gut Bronze uh, Cream Shadow, like Cream Bronzer Stick from Essence to the Milk Makeup. They feel very similar. To then the uh, M Cosmetics So Soft Bronzer in the shade Terra. This was nice, but it's not my favorite cream bronzer stick by all means, so I've actually decided to declutter it because... I'm not sure if I can show you. It's quite messy and it just goes everywhere in the packaging. Like, I'm not going to be able to keep that clean for very long. Um, this is quite new to me. This is currently in my Shop My Stash and I have yet to use it. It looks so dark and intimidating that I'm not reaching for it. But this is something I still need to review, so I'm going to pop it into the keep pile. I'm also going to be keeping my e.l.f. Uh, um, Putty Bronzer. This is one of the regular ones in the lightest shade and it was very pretty on, so I want to keep that. Then I'm also going to be keeping the Rare Beauty. Uh, this is uh, the Power the, in the shade Power Boost. Uh, this I just liked so much more than the M Cosmetics. <clears throat> much better shade for me and it worked much better for me. I am going to be getting rid of both of these. So this is the Play uh, 101 stick from Etude House and the Blurge in Hello There from Made by Mitchell. Um, this was sent to me. Uh, it's not a product I requested per se. It's okay, it's lovely, it's really good, but I don't really use contours. And this is lovely as well, but it's very intense. And now that I have the Elf, I think I have a really good cool toned like creamy option as well. So I don't really need all of that. So these two can go. Um, and then I, there's actually a couple of uh, creams hidden in this overlay because I have the new Charlotte Tilbury, at least it's new to me because I haven't played with it. The beautiful skin sun-kissed glow bronzer. This I still have to put on my face. I'm very excited for it. I'm going to be keeping it. And then I have the Revolution Cream Bronzer that I still have to review as well. I will be doing a full face um, makeup look with Makeup Revolution this month and that's why I got it. A lot of people were raving about it last year. So I was hoping I might like it too. So this is the Ultra Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. 
So that's another keep. So I'm going to be getting rid of one, two, three, four, five cream bronzers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to be getting rid of five cream bronzers and I'm keeping six. So I've ni nicely cut that in half. I was lying. I have another one, the Fenty Cream uh, Bronzer in the shade Amber. This is the only contour product I have. So that's why it's staying. Then I found a stray cheek palette from Catrice. This was in a limited edition over the summertime. This is really lovely but it's the same shades as in the Sleek and the Elf that I already, like, I already decluttered one of them because it was too similar. And I feel this is too, but it's very pretty. Like, let me, let me show you. Like, that's the highlighter. Like, it's, it's pretty, pretty, pretty gorgeous, but it's not something I need to keep around. So that's another face palette decluttered. And then we have powder bronzers left. Um... And again, here there are just some things that I know I can get rid of. Um, I've said it, uh, this is, it's, I'm sad to see it go, but the Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer in Sweet Tea is lovely, but it's just time. It's old. I need to get rid of it. This was a bronzer from the same collection as the face palette I just showed you. It was their Tropic Exotic line. It's by Catrice. And it's this, like, the, you, how? Like, how is this so big? Like, this is the, the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. And this is the, so much product. Um, it's 30 grams. Of course, it's also supposed to be go onto your body. But yeah, it was a good shade, but I would never reach for anything this big. Speaking of the Charlotte Tilbury um, bronzer then, it's gonna go. Um, it's in shade one, it's good, it's a good bronzer. Just the shade is not right for me. The uh, shade in the Hollywood, no, the Film Star Bronze and Glow is much better for my complexion. This always just looks a tad muddy on me. And by now, I feel quite similarly about Hula Like from Benefit. I just have other bronzers I prefer to this, and I've been keeping this for such a long time. It can just go. Something I'm definitely keeping is the Take Home the Bronze bronzer from uh, The Bomb. This is in the shade Oliver, and I want to hit pan on this. That's the goal. I've been trying every year for about three years straight. Every summer, I whip this guy out, and it's really lovely. One of my favorites for sure. Another favorite, the Nabla Skin Glazing Bronzer in the shade Ombra. Yes, Ombra. Uh, this is lovely. I really enjoy the formula. You can see how well used this is. It's amazing. And it's my replacement of an OG, the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 20M. I mean, this looks atrocious because of how old it is, but also because of how much it's used. I went back to it over the fall time. It still works. I can still work, play with this for sure. But it's also that gel to powder formula that I feel the Nabla has. And that's why I don't need to keep both. And this has just, you know, it's, we've had a good ride. We've had a good ride. Maybe this should go into a Makeup Memories box. I'm not entirely sure yet, but it's a declutter for sure. And more nostalgia, the Solar Powder by Soap and Glory. It's been discontinued, and I've got Pan. So we know I love this one. Like, this is a good one, but I always felt that this side of the pan was a lot harder to pick up than the lighter side, so I don't feel it ever blended that perfectly. And this is another one where it's like, it's old, I've got other bronzers in my collection. This can go. It's sad, but so it was so... We had a good run. We had a good run. The Fenty Beauty, again, looks atrocious, but this is not going anywhere because together with the Nabla, it's one of my favorites. This is in the shade in the sun. Hourglass, the ambient lighting powder in the shade Radiant Light. It's pretty, it's stunning. I haven't reached through this in two years, so it can go. And I was always using it together with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. Guess what else can go? Oh yes. We're getting rid of all the old things. Um, these two from Catrice are um, the same formula as in that like little face palette that I want to compare to the Charlotte Tilbury. These are really good. I have the deep, that's why I have both shades. A summer shade, a winter shade. These again, they do smell like that tropical sort of physician's formula butter bronzer kind of scent. That's what they have. But I don't really mind it because the minute I close the packaging, it's gone. I don't, I don't notice it that much. So, and I love the formula of these. Like these are such good drugstore bronzers. 
and they deserve a lot more hype. Keeping those. I'm going to be keeping both of my Kiko ones because I love them. Um, this is the Radiant Touch Bronzing Powder in 101. And then my favorite that's currently in my shop, my sash, is this guy. It's a fair bit lighter, but this is the Flawless Fusion Bronzing Powder in shade 1. This is a bit of a shimmer, and this is a matte, so there is a difference in the formula. Um, but this was very pretty on as well. But this is quite new to me. I have yet to review it. I haven't really been buying a lot of bronzers because I just want to get use out of the ones I already owned. But both are going to stay. I'm also going to be keeping the Becca. This is great. It's, of course, been discontinued because... Um, Becca was discontinued as a line. This is in the shade Bali Sands, and it's one of my favorites. Um, and I'm also going to be keeping the Dior. Um, this is another favorite. This is the uh, Dior Forever Natural Bronzer in the shade Tan Bronze. It's the first time I've ever seen a brand do a truly cool tone bronzer, and it's a lovely one. I love the undertone of this. And then let me condense it down. I already know these three need to go, not because they're not good products, but these were limited edition collections from Catrice um, that I, an essence that I, I just, I, do, I have no use for in my collection. So I buy these to review it. I do the video. I have the blog post that accompanies it. And that's it. I usually keep a couple of the products around that truly stand out to me. And these were good. They were nice, but I have a lot of makeup, so I don't need to keep these around. So the Ursula by from the Disney Villains collection that they did in the fall time. This is from Essence. It's the Maxi Blush. Um, but for me, this is a bronzer. It's pretty. It's a nice product, but I don't need to keep it. Similarly, the Marie Maxi Matte Face and Body Bronzer from Catrice from the Disney Classics line. It's pretty, but I don't need to keep it. I mean, the embossing on this is so lovely. And then we have the Lady one from the same lineup. That one's a little bit darker. And again, lovely bronzer, really good product, but I don't need it. And this is again, like this is 26 grams of product, both of these. And this one is seven? Oh no, nine. But this is again, it's massive. It's like just as big as that first one, you know, that really big one. And then we have these guys left and I'm a bit on the fence. I like this, the Peri Para V shading in Almond Brown. This is again that cooler undertone that I like, and it's good to have a K-Beauty product on hand because I do regular videos with K-Beauty stuff. Then the Hello Good Stuff from Essence, really good as well. And I need to keep an Essence product around, but I'm not sure, can you still get this? And I do have that little blush stick now that I like, or the bronzer stick, so maybe keep the cream that's what I'm going to do. Be keeping the cream and I'm going to get rid of this because then I still have an essence bronzer that I like. And finally, I will be keeping this. This is very old from Urban Decay. This is your beach bronzer in Sun Kissed. I don't have any other red tone bronzers. And when I swatch this again out in my recent uh, bronzer inventory collection video, this was one that really stood out to me as like a hidden gem in my collection. So need to go back to this one. I'm getting rid of 12 bronzers and I'm keeping 11. Welcome to all of my cream and liquid and powder highlighters. This is another area where I feel I can get rid of a lot. I have swatches up with most of these in my most recent highlighter inventory video. So if you want to see that, the link will be in the description box down below. Let me again start with the creams. And I have a ColourPop Super Shock here in the shade Happy Thoughts. It's really pretty, but too dark. Glossier Halo Scope I do want to keep. What's up from Benefit is gonna go. The Milk Makeup uh, Highlighter Stick in Lit is gonna go. The RMS Be Beauty Living Luminizer is gonna stay. 
And so then we have these guys. These are sort of like Catrice, Dupes, Cat uh, Charlotte Tilbury, but not quite kind of vibe. So I have Spotlight. And then these were in the Disney Villains collection, and I'm going to keep around both. I do feel the Maleficent one may be too similar to the Catrice or to the Charlotte Tilbury. The Cruella one is a bit more unique and peachy and my favorite of the bunch. But I definitely still want to see how similar these are. So that's going to be another short that's going to come up soon. But these I'm going to keep because they're lovely products. Um, so then I have the About Face um, highlighter stick. This is really pretty. It's like, what's it called again? Please indulge me. And this is stunning. But I don't feel I need to keep it. So I am definitely going to be keeping my Rare Beauty liquid highlighter in the shade Mesmerize. I love this. And this is the peachy tone that I prefer over the About Face. And these are products that I feel need to go into the primer category. So I am going to be keeping both the Giorgio Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer and the Lisa Eldridge Elevated Glow Highlighter. Uh, these are really lovely products, but I would wear be these more so under makeup than over makeup. So now that I've cleared out my primers, I can keep them there. And then I just have these guys left. And two of these are quite new to me. Uh, well, all three of these are quite new to me. So I have the... Catrice All Over Glow Tint. This is pretty. It's a really nice pinky shade. So I do think I want to keep it for now. And I'm also going to be keeping both of these. The Jelly Pop Highlighter from e.l.f. is really pretty. And then the Makeup Revolution one I've not used before, so I still need to try that out. And this I may want to review at some point, I think. I hope. Um, or should I get rid of it? No, it was very pretty. I'm going to keep both. Then some other things that aren't like straight up powders. I have a loose highlighter from Sydney Grace, which I was gifted at some point. And it's really pretty, but I already said in my video when I swatched this, that maybe I should just repress this into an eyeshadow and throw away the rest. So that's something I may want to do with this, but I'm still undecided whether I would then get use out of it. So if, I, if, it's, if it's worth the trouble, to go through repressing this, I might, but I'm not, I'm still undecided. And then I have another one of those loose Sydney Grace highlighter things, and this is in the shade First Date, and it's actually a little bit deeper than the one that I'm deciding to keep, but it's set very similar, um, but not right for my skin tone. This was again in a mystery bag. Where to start? Let's start with a favorite. Nabla Skin Glazing in Privilege, I love. Just like the bronzer, I'll be keeping the blush as well. I love the shade really good formula. Same thing for the Melt. This is currently in my Shop My Stash, but this kind of like white base with a, with a peach to pink is what I have about like six or seven of. So if I'm keeping this, I need to be very critical of the other things I'm keeping. So I already know that this, which is very similar to it from Apier, it's really lovely. It's a great highlighter, but I can get rid of this because I like the Melt formula just a little bit better. And I don't need six highlighters of the same shade. I feel similarly about the Annabelle Holo Lighter in the shade Pegasus. I've kept this around. This was out when it, this, the duo chrome highlighters were all the rage. Really lovely highlighter, not necessarily a shade I need to keep. But one of my favorite highlighters is from Fenty. It's this guy here. It's the Kilowatt, Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And mine has a little bit of pan. So we're keeping that. Um, I'm also going to be keeping my other Fenty Beauty. This is the Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. Love this guy as well, so I'm keeping that. I can get rid of my Kat Von D eyeshadow. This is lovely, but it's very similar to the Melt. The Too Faced Love Light Highlighter in Ray of Light. Who remembers these? This is so pretty. I want to stick it into a Makeup Memories box. I haven't kept much for the Makeup Memories box yet, have I? Um, but there's some other things I know that are already going to go in there. So this is lovely. I really, really enjoy the packaging of this. So this is going to be decluttered, but I'm going to put it in a Makeup Memories box just for the funds. But I don't need to keep around every peachy toned highlighter if I already have one that I love in the Nabla, you know. Um, I'm going to be keeping both of my MAC highlighters. This is Double Gleam. It's their extra dimension finish. Um, this guy is Show Gold. And this is already that like gold to pink sort of vibe, which again, I have several of. So if I have both of these, I don't need to keep all of the other guys. I love my Hourglass one as well. 
Um, that's sort of like a little bit more subtle, but with a little bit more sparkle to it. So I want to keep that. I also want to keep my Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter in Ultimate Platinum Gaze. This is uh, ColourPop's Flexitarian, but at the EU drugstore, it's really lovely. It's a really easy to blend formula. If you want to go super high shine metallic, this is the one I go for. I also really like, let me put these guys over here. Oops. I also really like my NARS Fourth of France. Uh, I don't reach for it enough because I have so many other things going on, but I do want to keep this around. I have some things that are too dark for me. Charlotte Tilbury, much too dark. So guess what? Yes, I'm going to declutter it. Um, it's just not perfect for me. And I think the shade spotlight that I have in the liquid is much better. So I have a Charlotte Tilbury highlighter that I can use if I want to do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. You know? So this I don't need to keep around. Um, this Dior highlighter is also too dark for me. This is the Nude Air... Uh, luminizer in shade one. Uh, I was always using it in the summertime saying how much I loved it then uh, but I haven't reached for this in a while so it's time to go. But my other Dior highlighter in uh, this is the Forever Couture Luminizer in Pink Glow. This is going to stay. This is so pretty. I love this thing. So that needs to stay. I also really love this Catrice highlighter, the Glow Lover Oil infused highlighter in Glowing Peony. This is so stunning. It's a very subtle glow though, but it's very pretty. In terms of subtle glow, I also love my Kiko highlighter. This guy here, this is the Glow Fusion highlighter. Look at that dent. This is the one I'm working on to try and hit pan on it. Um, this is in shade one. So keeping that. And I will also be keeping my other Kiko highlighter because I like it so much. Um, this is a powder version of the Nabla, I feel. It's a, it's a pretty peachy shade, even though I believe the shade name is Coral, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the Ultimate Glow Highlighter in shade 2. Let me show it to you like that. Um, I'm going to be keeping both of my like lilac-y sort of highlighters, even though they're pretty similar, but these are some of my OGs. The Becca Prismatic Amethyst and the Urban Decay Aura shades. Keeping both. Um, the Bombs Mary Luminizer, another candidate for a Makeup Memories box. I've hit pan on it, but it's not my vibe anymore. I don't reach for this. And I also found out that I can get rid of both of my Benefit ones because it's so similar to other things I have which made me understand why I no longer reach for these. The Dandelion Twinkle is too similar to the Hourglass one. Can I show it to you like that? So that's why I'm keeping that. Cookie is a little bit more special, I feel, because it is that more high shine metallic, which I don't tend to go for a lot anymore, but it is pretty. So this is going to go into the maybe pile for now, just to see how everything plays out. Essence, Kiss by the Light Highlighter in Starkist. It's pretty. I don't need it. It's good. I don't need it. Same for the Make Me Glow Baked Highlighter, which looks like it's just the rendition of the Pure Nude. It's too dark for me. So now I know why I never bought the Pure Nude, because it was too dark. Um, the other Essence highlighters, these are new for Spring 2023. So I have only played around with these like once or twice. And I thought that I was going to like this better, but it's a bit too yellow tone. So I still have to write a review for these, but I think I would be keeping this guy and decluttering this because it's a good highlighter from Essence. And I always like to keep some Essence and Catrice stuff around. This is pretty unique from Catrice. This is from a limited edition collection. It's Lilac Frozen Glow. And it's like cool tone and warm tone at the same time. It's really special, but it got completely snowed under and everything else I've got going on. So that's why I do want to keep it for now, but that's, um, that's one that I just, I just need to get more use out of it. Um, here's the issue. I like all of these. <laughs> these are all good, but I don't need to keep all of them. I'm going to be keeping the Mars Melter because this is a magenta flash. This is the OG version that they no longer sell, but this is my favorite one. Diamond Dasher is again that Melt Cosmetics peachy shade that I have a million times over. So it's a bit too sparkly for my liking, a bit too intense. I put it in a Shop My Stash a couple of months ago and I was like, not really reaching for it. So this can go. 
These Clio highlighters are pretty, but it's again very, very similar. Now, I don't remember whether I reviewed this one. I don't think I did. Um, but this is that MAC Show Gold kind of thing, so I can get rid of this. And then this one is very pretty, but it's a cream next to a powder. Um, oh, did I tell you what it is? They're both called Prism. This is in Fairy Pink. And this is in... Oh, it's only in Korea. No, it's Lavender Voyage. It's really pretty, but I don't like the fact that it's got a cream next to a powder. Um, so... This can go too. Ugh. I'm sorry. Or should I keep one just to have a K Beauty one around? But then if I have to pick, I think this one is prettier. Because else I won't have a K Beauty brand in here. And I'd like to be able to always be able to do like a full face of K Beauty at any random time. So yes. I'm going to keep the Clio Prism in fairy pink. It's pretty. Colourpop, Super Shocks, why do I keep buying these? I keep asking myself. This is stunning, if you like a rose gold. On the website it said it was a taupe, and then I swatched it to, like, just to try it out, and I felt it didn't look like a taupe at all, and then I swatched it again for my inventory, and I was like, oh, maybe it is a taupe, and now I'm swatching it here again, and it again looks rose gold. So, it's got such a deep base, that I know this won't work for me. So I I just I just need to accept that the ColourPop Super Shock formula in terms of highlighters just isn't really my vibe. So I still need to review this at some point, but then I'm going to get rid of it. The Perfect Glow Highlighter from Annabelle. This is not going anywhere. This is a white to gold and I like it. How it, wait, hold on. No. No, hold on. These may actually be too similar. And then I also have the white one from Becca, the pearl. So if I were to mix these two, I actually get this shade or this with a bit of NARS for the France. Uh, this is pearl by Becca. That's vanilla quartz. Um, I think, yeah, even though I love this, I can get rid of this. I have my Becca ones and I like them. I am going to get rid of this Becca one because I have the Dior one that's pinky and I like that better than this. This is quite dark. So I'm going to get rid of one Becca. Yikes. And then I have this Prism one left from the same. Do I want to keep this then over the Clio? Because this is also K-Beauty. And this is a little bit more unique in terms of what I've got going on. This is really pretty on. Yes. I'm going to exchange the Clio for the same, the Prism highlighter in something like Berry Baby Beam or something. That's, that's the name of it. Um, then the Space Age highlighters from Kaleidos. These are stunning. I have both of them, um, but I don't use them as highlighters on my face. So... The plan is to put these with my single eyeshadows because that's how I use them. I use them as eyeshadow. I top these over liquid lipsticks. If I want to get creative, I use these things, but I don't really use them on my face. So they don't need to be in this collection. So in total, out of my entire uh, highlighter collection, I'm keeping 36 powders, creams, and liquids, and some of them are going to go somewhere else, but I am getting rid of 24. Again, that's a pretty good number, I feel. It's about a third, at least, that I'm getting rid of. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So let me clear the decks, and then we'll get to blush. Right, so creams and liquid blushes first, because I need to split this up because I have too much blush to show you in one go. So let me just get started. Some things that I know can go are these two. So the Tower 28 has actually expired. This is the Beach Please Blush in happy hour and the milani one is just not the right shade i kept it last year because i love the formula so much um i actually originally decluttered it and then pulled it out of the pile um because i always keep my products around for like a, a month or so until i've posted everything onto my channel um because then i go through it in editing and then I sometimes change my mind um so i do keep the products around for a while before i sort of really make up my mind but yeah the nude kiss cheek kiss the Cheek Kiss uh, blush in Nude Kiss I like, but I don't, I don't need this. I just don't. Um, I need to make a choice between these two uh, Rare Beauty ones. These are lovely, but I prefer the shade Hope 
over grace. I find this formula easier to work with, so grace can go, and I'm going to keep hope. This is so tough. I'm going to keep the cloud paint from Glossier in the shade Storm. I really like my blush stick, blush stick from Victoria Beckham in the shade Mini Skirt. Love that one. Um, let me see. I don't love this blush stick from M Cosmetics. This is the So Soft Blush in the shade Lychee. It's pretty, but it just doesn't do enough for me. So I don't love that. These two Charlotte Tilbury things I'm going to keep. The Pink Gasm and the Peach Gasm ones. I like these, so these are going to stay. I really like the Elf Putty Blush in Tahiti as well. Um, so if I want to keep a shade similar-ish to the uh, Milani, it's going to be this one. I really like the putty formula from what I've tried so far. The Cheek Flirt from Catrice. This was nothing too special. Rock and Rose is a pretty shade. I have yet to review it, but it's not something I need to keep around in my collection, so that can go. On the other hand, the shade Tickled Pink from Baby Gut, the, uh, the Baby Gut Blush line from Essence. This was really pretty. It looked really fresh on the cheeks. It has that like Dior rosy glow kind of vibe, but then in a cream stick. So like that. So I'm going to keep it. I love my Fenty Beauty Cream Blush in the shade Strawberry Drip. So I'm going to keep this. This is my alternative. Like these shades are also very similar. So I don't need to keep both. So that's why the Tower 28 can go. This has a bit more pink to it, which is why it works for me. I love the Rare Beauty. This is the Rare Beauty uh, Melting uh, blush in nearly rose. So I'll keep that. It's well to feel. This is a little tester that I got in the shade Bee Sting. It's a stain. It's pretty, but it's nothing special. So I can get rid of that. These color pop things, like again, I want to love the Super Shock. Like I do like the Super Shock formula, don't get me wrong. But the shades that they do in this, like this is too dark for me. So I'm not going to keep that. This I do like. Cruel Intentions. This is uh, Cheerio, the one I'm getting rid of. But this is really pretty. So I do want to keep this. Um, Giorgio Armani is such a stunning shade, but I don't love this formula. I find it a bit drying, weirdly. But the shade, this shade, this grayish, dirty lilac. I just want to keep it for that. I'm not going to lie. Um, these two ColourPop ones, I think can go. I was using these mainly in tandem, but the shade Magic Hour, Magic Moon, I should say, sorry, from ColourPop is just not quite right for me. And the shade Chiffon, I bought this off of the recommendation of Angelica Nukvis. She was saying how this was her favorite. Super shock, but this is definitely more of a blush topper. And I don't think I'm keeping anything that this will really go with. So those can go got two melt ones. I have Honey Thief. And then this was sent to me as a gift. This is Daydreamer. And this may look very intense in the pan and maybe more for deeper skin tones, but I think I can make it work with a light hand. So still have to play around with it. And these are both lovely. And then if I have a peachy tone blush like this one, then this can see me through. I still have this. This I haven't tried yet from Revolution, the Super Dewy Liquid Blush. Does it have a shade name? I can't find what shade it is. Blushing in Love? Could that be a name? I haven't played with this yet, so I don't know what it will do. So I need to keep that around. Um, let me get rid of these ones first. The Jelly Dough Blusher from Holika Holika. This is so stunning. It's this really putty formula. So I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm thinking keep. I'm thinking keep on this one. But I also really like the I'm Uni. This is in the shade Plum. It's really intense, but it's very pretty. It's very good for the fall season. So I'm going to keep it for now. And it kind of replaces that ColourPop Super Shock I'm getting rid of. And then this... I think I can get rid of the Charlotte Tilbury one. I don't know. Did I review this yet? I don't know. I'm not sure. This is this is the Victoria Beckham in mini skirt that's in my shop, my stash. Yeah, the Charlotte Tilbury is just even warmer, which is why it doesn't really work for me. So I'm going to get rid of the Charlotte. I love Charlotte Tilbury products for sure, but I have other like I have those other two liquid things that I like better. 
I love the formula as a little bit better of those as well. And then I have these, and these are pretty much also like dupes for one another. I love this. This is Venetian Rose. I've used it quite a bit, so I'm going to be keeping that. Um, Pink Nectar and the shade Strawberry from Apieu. So this is M Cosmetics. This is Apieu Juicy Pang Blusher. You can get this off of Yes Style. It's a great dupe. I actually prefer this one. So I'm going to get rid of Pink Nectar. Um, I don't wear the shade Raspberry enough, but I feel that th it's a good replacement for Grace and I do like the shade. So I'm going to keep that. And then as you can see, this is also quite similar. But I remember that the shades were a little bit different of the reds and these ones as well. So here we have Rose Milk and this is um, Guava. This is Cherry Splash. And this is, um, there's also something cherry something. I don't love the packaging on these though. Like they're really stunning products. I really like them, but these are so much easier to use because they have this like nail, like it's just a nail polish like sort of thing. Um, this is really pretty. I'm going to keep those. I'm going to get rid of the M Cosmetics. I mean, these are just such a faff to use with the little dropper that I don't reach for them enough. So I can just get rid of these. They're very pretty. They've changed the packaging by now. So if you were interested in those, then know that they now come with not that dropper thing, but also like a brush or something. Like the, the packaging is definitely a bit more intuitive. So let me see what we're keeping and what we're getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of 13 cream blushes and I'm going to be keeping 23. Again, roughly a third, so that's pretty, pretty good. Powder blushes are last. So let me go through it, decide what I wanna keep, what I wanna get rid of. I know I wanna keep my Ciate little blush here, the matchmaker one. I love this shade, so that needs to stay. Um, but I'm going to be getting rid of the Benefit Coralista one, even though I've hit pan on it. Again, I could keep this around for nostalgia reasons, but I really don't need to. Um, and this shade is just a little bit old and I have other shades like it. For instance, this Catrice one, the Cheek Lover Oil Infused Blush, um, that is very similar to it. So I don't need to keep the old one around, but I'm keeping the Catrice. And I'm also going to be keeping my Natasha Denona Duo Glow in the shade Ryo. Um, sticking to the Catrice Cheek Lover blushes, this is the newest one. This is in the shade, uh, this is the Marble Blush in the shade Dahlia Blossom. And this thing I love. This is stunning. I really enjoy that one. So that's going to stay. Um, I can also tell you that none of my MAC blushes are gonna go. So these are the extra dimension ones. Oh, you can't see. So this is Dilly Dally and this is uh, Rosy Cheeks. No, Rosy does it. Rosy Cheeks. And then I have Glow Play and Heat Index. And then this is called Rosy Does It. These are lovely shades. These are a cream to powder formula. These are a bit more glowy. Love both, love all of those. So those I don't wanna get rid of. I am going to, oh, this should have gone into the cream category. Oh well. Uh, the LYS blushes are really, really good if you have deep skin. I don't have deep skin. So these aren't quite right for me in terms of like undertones and what they do for my complexion. I have the shades Passion and Self Love. And yes, I can make these work, but I have other shades in my cream blush collection that work better for me. Um, I will be keeping Willa from Benefit. Um, it's a bit more of a neutral one for me and it's newer to my collection. So keeping that. Talking about an OG, this is gonna go into a makeup memories box. I am going to get rid of it though, uh, but this packaging I just love. And I thought to myself, I can keep one two-faced heart-shaped thing um, and it's gonna be this one. So this is in the shade Peach Beach. But I will be decluttering both of these and they're gonna disappear forever. Two Faced um, Love Flush Blush in No Ordinary Love. This is the one they came out with later and I feel the, the formula just isn't the same. It just isn't. So that's why, and I've kept this one around for way too long. This is How Deep Is Your Love. This is one of the OG ones. But I have this. Lola from Nabla in the Skin Glazing Formula. Love it, it's the same shade so I can get rid of that. This really nice bright pinky shade, I'm going to keep Dior Rosy Glow, who doesn't own this at this point. I love it, I'm gonna keep it. 
I also would like to keep my Bare Minerals Blonzer. It's again that Coralista kind of shade that I do like, so I want to keep that. I love a good, I love a good purple blush. Ooh, Melt. Uh, this is the Digital No Blush Light in Electra, um, and I use this to top over one of my Urban Decay blushes. So we can talk about that next. Uh, so Urban Decay's Bittersweet is the one I use under the melt, so that's not going to go anywhere. And I also can get rid of Rapture because this is a really good plummy number. But I am going to be getting rid of, uh, what's this called again? Bang. It's just a bit too warm toned for my liking by now. And I have a red tone blush that I do like. So red tone blush that I do like is by Tarte, the Amazonian clay blush in the shade Natural Beauty. I love this thing, going to keep it. And I also love Seduce. And this is another great nude on me. So keeping that. I'm going to get rid of this Dear Dahlia thing. It's really pretty. It's their blusher in the shade Blossom Palace. But it's just not really for me. It just, it's a bit small. It's a bit dinky. Difficult to get your brush in. So I can get rid of that. I'm also going to be getting rid of this Kiko blush. I love Kiko for blush. This is the Mood Booze blush in Perfect Mauve. Yes. Mood Boost Blush in Perfect Mauve. I decluttered it last year, pulled it out. Should have just kept it in the declutter. It's pretty, but I have too many mauves. And I will also be getting rid, and I will also be getting rid of the Kiko one from uh, the Joyful Holiday Collection that came out at the end of 2022. This is pretty, but it is again that warm toned Coralista kind of vibe, which I have too many of anyways. So this is in the shade Elegant Rose. Pretty, it looks like an ornament that you can put up in your tree. It's really lovely, but I don't need it. In terms of Kiko blush, I'm keeping this guy. This is the uh, Shade Fusion Trio blush in shade five Marsala. This is going to be one of the few um, uh, mauve tone blushes that I'm going to keep. Keeping that train rolling, I am going to be decluttering my H&M Tawny Peach. This is an OG favorite, but I feel I would wear Tarte Seduce over this any time of day. So decluttering that. Speaking of mauve tones, the KVD in Foxglove. I'm going to get rid of it. I have too many mauve tone blushes, and this is the one that I need to get rid of. I will also be decluttering all of my The Balm blushes, but not because I don't like these. These are gonna go into a makeup memories box because I still have the entire Instain collection. I may wanna keep Argyle around, but I'm not entirely sure. It's a really nice soft pink, but I don't wear these enough. I just don't get the use out of these, so they're gonna go into a makeup memories box, but they are a declutter. This one from Essence I'm going to get rid of because this guy essentially does the same thing and it's a newer formula. This is from their Disney Classics uh, limited edition last year. In the shade Dumbo, it's the same shade as this peach from the blush light. Um, so don't need to keep that. I only need one essence blush in my entire collection. So this is going to stay as a good peachy tone. And these two I'm also going to get rid of. This is Patch, which is pink. And the Bambi is more of a neutrally bronze shade. Lovely, but don't need it. I only need one of them. I buy those for reviews, as I mentioned. This ColourPop one, um, it's a different one from what's in here. This is the one that I want to pull out and then reuse the packaging to house this. And I wasn't sure whether it's going to fit, but I'm pretty sure that's going to fit because the pan is much smaller than the ColourPop one. So I'm going to take this out uh, with a magnet and then I'm going to be putting the Sydney Grace highlighter in here but I'm going to be decluttering the blush that's in it. Um, the Gold Rush from Benefit I'm going to keep. This is one of my favorite peachy blushes. I'm, I already have two Catrice blushes in there, so here as well. The Blush Box in Dolce Vita, I've used this thing to pieces, but I've kept other peachy tone blushes that I don't need to keep this, and I have other Catrice blushes in my collection. And the new Air Blush Glow, I also like. This is in uh, Cloud Wine. It's really pretty, but it's mauve. I don't need another mauve tone blush. For instance, because I've got this guy, the Cover FX Blush Duo in Mojave Mauve. This is really stunning. It's a lovely product. I really enjoy this. If I'm gonna wear a mauve, this is one of the things I like to reach for. So this is gonna stay. 
And then I'm, I'm a bit lazy taking these out of the packaging. Of course you do want to see them. So let me take a minute. Divine Rose from Pat McGrath is my ultimate mauve tone blush. So that's one of the reasons why I know I can get rid of so many. I want to keep a couple of my OG favorites, but this beats them all. And then I have the duo in Venetian Sunset. I haven't played around with this yet on my cheeks. So this has to stay around, but look at that. These lovely cookie blushers from Etude House are so good. Like these are really, really great blush. Like they just are. But I don't feel I need to keep both shades um, because I have other like pinky purple blushes that I like better. And this pulls more pink on me than it does purple. So it's not that unique. I really love this for a nude and I've used it a lot more. So I'm going to keep Ginger Honey Cookie and then I'm going to get rid of, uh, what's this called again? Lavender Lemon Macaroon. Like if they could make the names even longer, I would definitely have a better time remembering, I'm sure. This Disney Villains one from Essence from the Evil Queen. It's lovely, but it's a peach. I don't need to keep it around. This Zishi one, I also don't need to keep it around. This had an overspray, like, like you can tell, I hope. Like some of it, it's still there. Uh, it was a pretty shade. It's a pretty blush for sure. Very stunning. Um, but it's almost like the entire color in the middle is an overspray. I mean, it's lovely packaging. Like look at that. It looks like a compass or something. It's really, really pretty. But I have some other Zishi products where I'm like, I would keep that around for the packaging alone and I don't need to make it this. So um, yeah, it's definitely more of an eyeshadow palette thing for me to keep that around. So let me condense this down. I had stacked a couple of things so that we could actually see things a bit better. Um, so then I just have some of these things left. The Re-Ray Triple Blush, this was gifted to me in PR um, and I have to say that I like this, but it's not really my shade. So I would never have picked this out myself. So I'm going to be decluttering this. I am going to be keeping both of my M Cosmetics ones. One of them is Rodin and the other one is Magic Hour. This more peachy one is Magic Hour. Yes, I love these. If you love a glowy blush, you're gonna love these. And this is why I got rid of so many of my other M Cosmetics products because these are it. I like them, they're really good products, but in the grander scheme of things, I either have things I like that I find easier to use and that I have in similar shades. But these I feel are truly unique from the brand. So if you are looking into them, you want to try just one thing, make it this. Um, Patrick Ty, I haven't reviewed yet. So this is going to keep, I'm going to keep this around a cream and a powder that does have that little flap. So that makes it a bit easier, but I need to play around with this more. This needs to go into a shot my stash. The Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic in Pillow Talk. It's too dark. I don't love this. I'm going to declutter it. I'm going to be keeping both of my Melt Cosmetics Digital Dush blushes. Raw Honey and Buzzkill are really lovely glowy blushes. If you like high, sh high shine, these are both really good. And then I have the Twinkle Pop uh, little palette. This is another PR gift. Um, Again, not something I need. So, decluttering. Then the hourglass ones, and I, I'm intending to keep all of them actually, but I shouldn't. Mood exposure, incandescent Electra, and uh, diffused heat. I got rid of my bang from Urban Decay, so this would then be my orange toned red blush of choice. Um, I really like mood exposure. Mm. And I like Incandescent and Electra, but because I have so many other peachy tones that I would reach for more than this, I'm going to declutter this one. So, then we have the Kaleidos ones left. And of these, I really like this one. Um, I think it may be this one, yeah. These two work for me. The other three, I mean, I got the whole set with the eyeshadow palette, so I didn't have much of a choice. Um, so this is the nude one. I One of this, is this Joyride? 
This is Dreamwalk, I know that, but the other four names I don't know, save for the red. This is Sanguine, this is not my kind of red, so this can go. I'm pretty solid on that. This is Too Bright of a Peach, I believe that one's called Joyride, and this one is Too Brown. This is almost a bronzer on me, like it's that kind of vibe. So those three can go, but here's the thing, this is super similar to Dior Rosy Glow. Do I need to keep around both? And this is just another peach. So in terms of like shades that are unique to my collection, the Kaleidos ones don't quite win. But I love the packaging on these. Like this, this, like lace packaging. So I want to keep one. I'd get more use out of this. This is the one I use most. This is my kind of like fresh in from the cold kind of look. I love that look. I loved it before it was ever a hype. Or shall I just keep these two for now and then see how much I wear them throughout the year? Shall I do that? Get rid of these three. Keep these. Yeah, no, I'm going to get rid of this one as well. I'm going to keep just the bright pink because I would wear that most. So keeping that and then let me tally up how much we've decluttered. No, it's an, an, a 50-50 split. For real, I'm keeping 32 and I'm getting rid of 32. Well done me. I'm so happy about that. That's such a good result. So these are all of the ones I'm getting rid of. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's declutter. I've got a couple more coming your way. They go live once a week. So if you'd like to stay tuned for those other declutters that I still have in store for you. But of course, I also do lots of other content. There are going to be a couple of spin-off videos from this makeup collection video or this make makeup declutter video, I should say. So I will be um, reorganizing and cleaning out my makeup room a bit more, um, getting that all done. And there's going to be a couple of other things as well. So if you'd like to stay tuned for all of that, and then I hope to see you in my next video very, very soon. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.